I can't blame you if you're stubbornly resisting this idea. First, I informed you that an invisible, inorganic beast incessantly force-feeds your shitty thoughts so it can devour your life force. And now I assert that you're ensconced for countless lifetimes in a dense vibrational foam pit with a bunch of misfits hell-bent on mayhem. Yikes. No wonder you're depressed and or anxious. Believe it or not, accepting this theme will help you restore and retain your life force. Here's how endorsing mayhem with the misfits can reset your expectations and reactions in your external world and help you feel immediate relief. Number one, you realize you're right where you need to be. You definitely do not have control of your thoughts, am I right? You belong here in the foam pit to minimize the existential damage caused by your drunken monkey thinking. Number two, guess what? Pretty much everyone else you encounter in daily life is here for the same reason you are. They suck at controlling their thoughts. They might be richer, prettier, smarter, healthier, more athletic, and more popular than you. But hey, they're stuck in the foam pit too. Number three. Being burdened with a ravenous beast might mean you are an advanced player on this foam pit level of our multidimensional reality. Maybe you're earning extra points by bearing the beast. Number four. You're now vigorously bitch-slapping the beast all the live-long day which is a major step towards controlling your thoughts and emotions and graduating to a lovelier level of existence. Number five, if you kill yourself now, you'll probably end up right back on this level in your next life, dealing with the misfits and their mayhem. So you might as well hang around and finish this episode of your personal series. Number six, you no longer need to become upset when shit happens in your daily life. What can you expect from the misfits but mayhem? Nothing anyone does can ever surprise you or knock you off center. You'll simply raise your eyebrows, shrug your shoulders, and say, Mayhem with the misfits. Number seven. Instead of expecting everything in life to go your way and getting annoyed and angry when things go awry, you can be truly appreciative when any endeavor turns out half as well as you hoped. Take any positive outcome as a sign that you just made a small step toward reaching another level. Just to be sure you're grokking the value of Mayhem with the Misfits, let's construct a couple of examples. Imagine you finally bought the fabulous new car you've been saving for over many months. You wash and wax it till it gleams, and you proudly transport your pals to a fantastic concert. When you return to the parking lot after the show, you realize some asshole has dragged his key along the length of your car, inscribing a long, jagged scratch across the shiny red finish. Previously? You would have had a shit fit, ranted and raged, and been unable to stop thinking about the injustice of life. Or maybe you would have been furious with yourself for manifesting such a shitty reality. Now, with your wisdom of accepting life in the foam pit, you simply raise your eyebrows, shrug your shoulders, mumble, mayhem with the frigging misfits, and get on with your evening. As another surprisingly common example... Imagine you come home early from a stressful day of work, feeling feverish, and trudge into your bedroom to find your beloved mate enthusiastically fornicating with your best friend. Holy crap! Previously, you would flip out and, perhaps depending on your gender, either head for your gun cabinet or to the kitchen pantry to binge on chocolate. Now, you are unshaken. What can you expect from misfits? You breezily snap a couple of pics of the naked fuckers and post them to your social media accounts. I could do this all day, but it's your turn to write one memorable Mayhem with the Misfits example from your own experience in the foam pit. Do so now on page 26 of your PDF workbook. You now possess a potent paradigm for dealing with the external shitstorms that invade your daily life. Let's drill down to specific ways to cope with the people in your life who drain your life force. Move on to Hack 5. 